My plan right now, if I last three weeks, I'm gonna pull the mask off. People aren't gonna like what they see. Looks gonna look like flesh on the outside. You rip it open and it's just circuitry and wires. They don't even know what's gonna hit them. Will, if you could give a speech as to why you would like to be in the house, go ahead, please. Okay. Traditionally, the uh, nominees uh, speak to the veto holder individually because they're looking for one person to help them. But if it's okay with George, the power of veto holder, and James, the HOH holder, I'd like to speak to the house as a group. This is truly an all-star season because I'm astonished by your gameplay here. Now, a lot of you have come up to me and you've said, Will, you don't really seem like you're into it. You don't really seem like you want to play. And you said, why? What was the reason for that? And I said to myself, I don't know. I don't know why I can't be, I don't understand it. So I had to heart to heart with myself. And I said, Will, what is the reason? And I thought it was because I really liked everyone here. But then I realized it was the opposite of that. I can't find an individual to hate because I hate you all. There's no one I hate more than anyone else. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask to be removed from this game by you all. Now, if you refuse to kick me out, I will be throwing every competition, I will throw every HOH, I will throw every POV, and I will throw every food competition. George is on slop, and I will do the best I can to ensure that we all are on slop. Unless you get together, have a big group meeting, and vote me out. So Chicken George, please don't use the power of veto on me. I want this nomination to stay in place. I encourage you to use it yourself. You know why? This man is a badass. He went up against the five wickedest, freakiest Big Brother players and he whooped their ass. Don't use it, vote me out. Back to you, George. Bring, bring. Hello. Hey, Boogie. Yeah, what up, Dude, man? get this. You're not going to believe it. What? Big Brother All-Stars. I go in front of the entire house guest group, and I say, I hate you all. This season, I hate you all. Please don't use the power of veto on me. Vote me out. No one voted even against me. Everyone voted against Jace. <laughs> Howie and I have one thing in common. We're both attracted to me. This is a very enlightening relationship for me as well, because I've never had a retarded friend. Thank you. You didn't fart, did you? It wasn't me. <laughs> Normally having two brain cells is enough to survive in life, but eventually Howie's brain cells start arguing with each other, and uh, they just shut down. God, you have a lot of wrinkles. I've never seen so many. It's like your forehead is trying to leave the rest of your face. Are those wrinkles or a slip and slide for fleas slip that are coming out of your fleas. hair? <laughs> My God. <laughs> Don't worry, things can be done. We can rebuild you stronger, uh, smarter, I think better. My calling was here to meet you, skin doctor. Best day of your life. Everyone came up to me and they said, we have to get rid of the people who aren't deserving to be on the show. Everybody said you. Kids, this is turning from fun to ugly. Can it go back to being fun? How he's getting nervous because he doesn't want to go back to Rancho Cucamonga. I love Rancho Cucamonga. You better because you're Beautiful. going back there. If Howie and I got into a battle of wits, it wouldn't even be fair because he's unarmed. You're wrinkling through that hat. <laughs> Fabric is not as strong as your wrinkles. And see these veins? Ice water. Yours are just shaking like a leaf. Like a leaf. By a vote of three to two, Howie, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. Thanks. Sorry, Howie. Thanks for the sellout, buddy. Tight. Class move. Yeah, Another class, class act move. leaves the Big Brother house. Yeah. Throw it to my face. Lie to me. You little punk. Howie, get to step in. Get to step yeah, in, Howie. What are you going to do about it? There's 20 people standing outside the, the door. Any get to step in. Another class act leaves the house. Kiss my ass. Class act. Class act. You got you, uh, the Chill Town's word as good as gold. Go get a yeah. life, Howie. Go get a life, dog. Super Bowl, baby! Woo! Chilltown is on a little mission right now called 
Operation Double Date. And the way it works is I get very close to Erica, Will gets very close to Janelle using our charisma, good looks, and winsome personalities. And what these girls think is that they're winning our hearts and they're manipulating us, but uh, what we're really doing is... Ripping their hearts out of their chest and squeezing the blood in the pocket of their cheap blouses before they can blink twice. Billy. Janelle has fallen madly, madly in love with me. Can you blame her? I'm so in love with Will that if she left, I, I don't know When did you know you me. loved me? <laughs> the second that you walked through those doors. <laughs> Boogie, you know Janelle, that big blonde freaky uh, cartoon chick from uh, Big Brother 6? Dude, she's way into me. Blink, you and I are the final two. You did phenomenal. Your speech was very true. That was a great job. Right now in the house, Danielle and Erica, there's a lot of tension between them. It's hilarious. I'm the one who did this, and no one's even mad at me. Janelle's in love with me. Erica's totally cool with me. And Danielle, I'm going to string her along just like I did with James, just like I did with Howie, just like I did with Marcellus. We are chilled down. We work quickly. We work secretly. We are ninjas. No one knows what we're doing. No one knows we're together. Just chill, OK. Being that I'm a secret member of Chilltown, I think they have my back. <gasps> Everything's cool. Everyone chill down. We don't get worked up. We work by secret ninja moves. No one knows what we're doing. Things are good. Okay. okay. No one knows that I'm with Chilltown. No one. Except for Chilltown, of course. Where's everybody else? The girls are in the back sleeping. It's a good time for this chill town meeting. So, George, when the boys really need you, you're going to be there for I us, right? Step it up. Will and I have really, really looked out for you. We just want to make sure it's going to be bros before hoes. <laughs> Done. Jimmy George, your official member of chill town. What do you think of that? I want to get a chill town t shirt. <laughs> I am an honorary member of chill town. Could you imagine me? in chill town let's make this work <laughs> the chill is in the town still <laughs> so this week chill town gave out honorary memberships to everybody in this house how many are you actually going to honor zero eric and i were in the hoh room and i was just planting some seeds maybe we should start considering the possibility of possibly considering getting rid of danielle hey well are you guys keeping me yeah you gotta relax. Okay. All right. Oh my god. I'm not sure if Danielle's been watching this season. Maybe I should reintroduce myself. They call me the puppet master. Do you really think you're safe this week? Come on. I vote to evict Danielle. By a vote of three to zero, Danielle, you have been evicted from the Big Brother. Look at their gameplay. House. I thought their gameplay was excellent. There's a mayor of Chilltown, and his name is Will Kirby. <laughs> and I give credit where credit is due. And he's the most badass player to ever play this game. Let's see. I tell you what. Let's let's take a look at Chilltown in action. Caller ID, Mike Boogie, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? So, check this out. You ready for the latest? Sure. I think I just formed a sub-alliance between us and James from S6 and Danielle, the girl we tried to vote out the first week. This is Mike Boogie? Yeah, they're going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get these fools a blindfold, because they're in the dark. They're in the dark. <laughs> Bring. Hey, hello. Hey, Boogie. What up, man? Do you remember a few weeks back when I got my showmance to put up her very best friend, Marcellus, and then we evicted him? Yeah. Could I bother you to do that this week with your showmance? Just get her to put up her best friend, Danielle? Sure, no problem. Cool. <laughs> hey, Boogie, did you win uh, POV today? Nah. I want a trip to Aruba for two in a plasma television. Did you win POV? No, I won uh, 5,000 bucks. 